Hi, this is Ben from the Railroad Yard Hubcap Hobbies, and today I wanted to give you a little bit of an idea of what it was like to be an HO scale model railroader back in the 50s and 60s. Most people think of the 50s and 60s, they think of Lionel and the steam locomotives that puffed real smoke, American Flyer, or the Santa Fe F units with the iconic war bonnet paint scheme. But at the same time, HO railroading was really starting to take off, and that's really what I want to talk about today. In the post-war era, and I say post-war meaning after uh, the Second World War, uh, according to the old train guys, World War II is the only war that ever happened. Uh, but anyways, uh, Varney was one of the big manufacturers of model railroading equipment. One thing I particularly like about the old time Varney kits of the boxes and just by looking at them you can just tell that they're from a different era. They've got the old school graphics on them, uh, unlike today's boxes that are all uh, glossy and shiny. These had uh, their own little charm to them. So this is a refrigerator car kit and this is what you got when you open the box. Uh, they always printed out detailed instructions so you knew what you were doing. Although this kit is uh, pretty straightforward, um, you got the sides of the car. These were metal, and it's pretty realistic. Uh, you know, I'd still run this on uh, on my layout. These are metal. It's got the roof of the roof of the car, and then there's the base for it, which is made out of wood. So. Most of these kits were either uh, metal, wood, or both. There's very little plastic. Um, I believe the couplers might actually be plastic, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But they're still in the package, so I'm not going to open them. Like that. See, this is your hardware set. And in this box, I believe you have the wheels. So, pretty simple kit, uh, pretty easy to build. So here we have a Varney uh, steam locomotive kit. No, it's not actually a toolbox. Uh, this is actually how they packaged uh, their higher end steam locomotive kits. You can open it right up. This is the Varney Super Consolidation Kit number 1784K. Just about everything is metal. You got your boiler and cab right here. Um, and if you look closely, the motor's right here. And it's nicely preserved, still wrapped in plastic wrap. I don't know why someone uh, would have bought this kit back in the day and paid, a, paid quite a bit of money for it and then never assemble it. But um, it's a nice time capsule. So here are the blueprints for the assembly of the locomotive and they're very detailed and you swear you're looking at the uh, assembly plans for a real locomotive. There's also a step-by-step -step guide that tells you exactly how to assemble the locomotive and uh, I've skimmed through them and they're actually pretty well written and easy to understand uh, despite the complexity of this kit. If you were to have purchased this kit back in the early 50s, it would have sent you back 50 to $60, which was quite a big chunk of change back then. I did some research, and with inflation, the $50, $60 that you'd have to spend to buy this kit back in the day would be the equivalent of five dollars to $600 in today's money. So if anyone ever tells you that model railroading has become so expensive in this day and age, have them look at an old Varney ad you'll find out that model railroading is actually more affordable today. And if you're interested in owning a few of these old vintage Varney kits, check out my website, the Railroad Yard Hubcap Hobbies .com. If you like the video, please like and subscribe, and uh, the more views and shares we get, the more videos we'll make.